Hello and welcome to the channel. This video is very important for serious combo go battle royale players. Because in this video, I will give you the best settings to help win every game. Now let's go. Number 1 is hit effects. This setting lets you decide which color or type of hit effects you prefer. You can choose between green, pink, blue, black or yellow. Every pro player uses different colors, so that they never get bored. Number 2 is Slide Wall Running. There are two modes in this setting, tap crouch while sprinting, and hold crouch while sprinting to slide. Tap to crouch lets you simply tap the crouch button to slide. Hold crouch while sprinting mode lets you hold the crouch button to slide. I recommend using tap to crouch while sprinting for the fastest movement. Number 3 is damage number. This setting basically lets you see the damage you are inflicting on us. So for pro gameplay, always turn this setting on. And you can also adjust the transparency to your liking. Number 4 is Transparentize Player Near Obstruction. This setting lets your character become transparent when in the way. First let's turn it off. When this setting is off you will not be able to see through your character, which is no good. So always turn this setting on for the best results. Number 5 is Graphics. For the graphics settings, they should always be at medium or low. And the frame rate should always be at max. This will reduce lag and also give you the smoothest gameplay. Number 6 is Aim Assist. Aim Assist does exactly what it's called, basically a miniature aim. Whenever you aim close to the nearest target, your crosshair moves directly to it. Let's see what happens when it's turned off. When Aim Assist is turned off, you are basically on your own. But to be a better player you need the most help with your aim as possible. So always turn on aim assist so that you have the best accuracy in game. Number 7 is Joystick Auto Sprint. This setting lets you automatically sprint when swiping on screen, and also allows you to lock in the run so you can let go and continue to run. First let's turn it off. When this setting is turned off you will not be able to lock in your sprint, which is not good for 20 for 7 fast movement. So always turn this setting on for the best results. Number 8 is Slide Hint. This setting lets you know if you are able to slide or not. When enable, the crouch button will stay the same. 
and when able your crouch button will make a sliding animation. When this setting is off, you will not be informed if it's possible to slide, which is no good. So for the best results, turn this setting on always. Number 9 is Hide Prone Button. This setting basically merges your prone button with the crouch button. When turned off your crouch and prone buttons will be separated. This is no good because it can slow down your movement. So for the best results always turn this setting on. Number 10 is Quick Weapon Switch. This setting lets you switch through weapons faster. This is a very important setting because you need to be able to switch weapons for the set occasion. Either for long range needs or close combat. So make sure to always have this setting on for the best gameplay. The bonus is sensitivity settings. Sensitivity settings are how sensitive your gameplay is. Either it's frame or gyroscope control you always want to have the best sensitivity settings. So copy what you see on screen, trust me they will work wonders.